built the bridge. Hi, Dave Harris here again. I'm the Senior Construction Contracts Engineer for the Michigan Department of Transportation. It has taken a diverse team of hundreds to build the Second Avenue Bridge. MDOT and HNTB Michigan, MDOT's owner's representative consultant, developed the initial concept for a signature network tied arch bridge. Tetra Tech's Michigan-based team was responsible for designing the bridge. A team at Ann Arbor-based HDR designed the network tied arch, a key part of the bridge structure. Z Contractors, headquartered in Shelby Township, Michigan, built the bridge. And Mamut, based in the Netherlands, provided the specialized equipment for moving the bridge to its permanent location. Like I said, it took people and businesses, big and small, working together with MDOT to create the bridge. I can't introduce you to all of them in the next two minutes, but let's hear from a few members of the Second Avenue team. My name is Brittany Clark and I am a laborer here at Z Contractors. The best part with me is just being here and being able to work on this high scale of a project. I definitely encourage other women to try and get into this type of work or into the trades because it might be tough, but it's definitely worth it and rewarding. My name is Diego Bustamante. I'm a laborer here at Z Contractors. I mean, I knew I was getting into bridges, but I never thought I'd do a bridge this big. So it's something that I'll, I'll always remember to, that I've done and that I was part of. My name is Cesar Mireles. So Eminent Contracting is in charge of uh, doing all the concrete roadway work. The most exciting thing about working on this project is it's a one-of-a-kind project. And us as a company, we're a small DB company, we get to actually you know, be a part of it. My name is Wanda Dwyer. On this project, I was the estimator at bid time for Cadillac Asphalt. I would recommend women go into construction. My name is Mark Schultes, and I'm with Natural Environmental Reclamation Concepts Incorporated, NERC. Once the bridge is set in place, we will be performing the grass seeding on the freshly topsoiled areas. Nate Ford, I am the Deputy Program Manager for h and Corporation. I think when you tie in the aesthetic, aesthetics of the bridge uh, with the uniqueness um, and where it's positioned, I mean, literally in the heart of the city of Detroit, uh, off I-94, uh, is something to be proud of. MDOT and the entire Second Avenue Bridge team, thank you for helping us make the Second Avenue Bridge move a success. This fall, for the safety of the public and those working on the project, MDOT will close I-94 between M10, the Lodge Freeway, and I-75 for five days to make final adjustments to the bridge cables. For information about the Second Avenue Bridge, the bridge move, and the I-94 modernization project, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Visit the project website at i94detroit.org and stay tuned to local media.